Yo, what is up guys, DeckerCrafter here, and today we're going to be making a vanilla Minecraft server. Now, if you go to the Minecraft website, obviously it kind of tells you how to do it, but I'm going to show you how to do it, and uh, we're going to do it really quick. It's going to only take a couple minutes. First things first, you're going to go to this link down in the description. It's the Minecraft.net website, and you're going to download this Minecraft server 1.18.2.jar. So first we're going to download this, hit keep. Uh, Chrome just doesn't know what it is if you're using Chrome. That's why it says it could potentially harm your computer. It's not going to. All right, now if we go to our download folder, we can see here, I'm just going to throw it on my desktop for the time being. Next, what you want to do is actually create a new folder. You can title this whatever you want, but this is going to be your server. So I just titled mine vanilla server. We're going to throw that in there. Now we're going to go back to the link real quick. We're going to take this, we're going to copy the whole thing. We are going to need to edit a little bit though. All right, now that we're back into our vanilla server folder with our server.jar in here, we're going to right click new text document. Now this is how you're going to run your server, so we're just going to call it run, go into here, paste what we just copied, and we're actually going to remove all of this right here so that it just says server.jar. That's because the name of this is just server, and it's a jar file, so that's what it's looking for. Now we are going to actually go to file and save as. The reason you want to do that is because we have to make it a batch file so that it can actually run the command. So you're going to put .bat on it, and then you're just going to hit save. Now if we close this, we can actually delete the old text document. Now we've got this run.bat. If you can't edit it, I recommend a program called Notepad++, but we don't need to edit it anymore. Um, if you want to change the amount of RAM, you can. That's what this number is. This is one gig of RAM right here, but we're just going to leave it as is. Um, obviously just multiply this by two for two gigs, by three for three gigs, etc. Um, so now all you got to do is hit run. Now, if you want your friends to be able to connect to the server, go down in the description and make sure you watch my port forwarding tutorial. It'll go ahead and get you all set up. All right, once it loads, it's gonna actually crash. We're gonna have to accept the EULA. This is the end user license agreement with Minecraft. Essentially, just don't sell physical items unless they're cosmetics and you'll be fine. Um, then we're gonna hit run again after accepting that. We're going to load up Minecraft. Make sure you load up the latest version or whichever version you're uh, setting up. Here's our Minecraft, latest 1.18.2, because we're making a 1.18.2 server. It's just creating the world right now, so it's going to go through this process. It'll say done once it's pretty much done. Go to play, obviously. All right, see here the server is done, but now we're loading up Minecraft. I'll show you what to do next so you can join. Now, your friends, if you watch the port forwarding tutorial, again, in the description, they're going to need your public IP. You can find that on canyouseeme.org. Let's go ahead and get into this. So you're going to go to multiplayer. You're going to hit add server. And you're just going to put local host, or you can put a zero. So once we've done that, we're going to do this. You can name it whatever you want. It does not matter. I'm going to just title it Vanilla Tutorial. And we're going to scroll down. You can see it right here, Vanilla Tutorial. Join. And I'm going to have to blur this out because it is going to show my IP. But you can see that we have joined the game. And now we're in our Minecraft server. If you want to make yourself admin, all you have to do is go to here. This is your server, by the way, so you can't close this. And you're going to type OP and then your Minecraft name. My name is DeckerCrafter, so boom. And if we go in game, me DeckerCrafter server operator. And, uh, whoops. Now we are in creative. And uh, you successfully made yourself a vanilla Minecraft server. Hope you guys enjoyed. It was very quick easy and uh, if you need a server host if you don't want to host on your own system because i know it can um be taxing especially if you don't have like a really strong gaming computer i put a server host down in the description you can use code decacrafter and uh, save a bit there um, but it's still really cheap regardless and it really helps me out personally so again thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one